this is kind of a uh, quick and dirty review here. I don't have my usual setup, so I'm just kind of winging this with my iPhone. Um, but I wanted to get this out of here quickly, uh, mainly because of an issue I had uh, with this. So let's get right into it. This is the first figure from the Transformers Collectors Club subscription service. And uh, as you can see from the sticker on the side here, this is Scourge. Um, now, one of the things when they announced the subscription service, uh, Fun Pub was real big about how how good their new packaging was going to be. And uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't think it's nearly as good as they hoped it was going to be, or they didn't do as good of a job as they should have, I should say. Um, I was I was pretty excited since it's been it's been at least a year since uh, they announced this service. Um, so you know, a, a lot of people have been waiting for these figures. We've been signed up for a long time. So when I when this came in, I was I was excited about it. But then I opened it up. I immediately saw a problem uh, on the lid of the uh, box. I saw these two big wear marks, which immediately made me look down, and uh, there was our problem. Uh, the way they have the figure positioned in the packaging here, uh, it's a little bit taller than the packaging. The smokestacks with the smokestacks. So what's happening is these smokestacks are rubbing on the lid of the box and uh, what that has resulted in if we focus here uh, is there is paint wear on the top of both smokestacks from where the box has been rubbing on them um, if this was a retail figure I wouldn't have a problem with that because uh, that stuff happens but this is a collector's figure and they should know by now, especially, that uh, they need to take a little bit better care with their packaging. And that was kind of a selling point for them, was that the packaging was going to be sturdier and they weren't going to have these problems with the figures getting damaged. So, uh, well, it happened again. So, uh... For those of you that are going to be getting this in the mail here shortly, uh, I would check this out. Um, for me, I, with all the crap that's gone on with Fun Pub, I'm not going to even bother dealing with trying to get a uh, return on this. I'll probably just get a little bit of silver paint and touch the edges and, and fix the problem that way. Um, but if, if you are frustrated enough with it, I would definitely, uh, and, and, and if you want to push the issue, I would, I would get with Fun Pub and uh, let them know they have a problem and, and request a replacement, either a replacement figure or replacement parts. Um, but, yeah, it, it's, it's really disappointing, especially with the amount you have to pay for these these figures to see this this kind of packaging go on. So aside from the uh, damage from the packaging, let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the vehicle mode here. Uh, this is the G2, uh, the Generations, or let's see, it was, no, it's actually uh, Reveal the Shield, I'm sorry, but the Reveal the Shield G2 Optimus Prime uh, mold. Uh, which corresponds because when you got into RID, they used the G2 Prime to uh, as a repaint to make the Scourge mold. So uh, it was only fitting that we did get a Scourge from this mold eventually. But uh, looking at the vehicle mode, uh, it's pretty good looking vehicle mode, uh, and everything's everything's black. Uh, plastic uh, with the the uh, teal highlights on it. Uh, they also went with the uh, it's a pinkish red plastic, which is another homage back to the uh, back to the Scourge figure. 
and they've got the upside down G2 emblem as well. So, uh, the vehicle mode itself I think looks real good. So, uh, uh, other than, like I said, my packaging damage, uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Moving on, we've got the figure in his robot mode here. And, uh, again, I'm even more pleased with the way the robot mode turned out. Uh, you've got some beautiful teal and silver accents on here. Uh, they did a great job of capturing Scourge here. Uh, again, the, uh, the reddish-pink plastic for the sword there. And then uh, the head sculpt. The head sculpt is really nice here. focus here. Yeah, I'm working with my iPhone here, so bear with me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really like the way the head sculpt turned out on this. They've got some really sharp detailing in here. Uh, the light piping. Uh, I can show this off a little bit here. Uh, they got some really good light piping in there. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really loving this figure. Um, this is one of the reasons why, even after all that Fun, Fun Pub has done, I still still winced and bit the bullet and got this subscription service. Was a lot of it was for this figure. Um, will I do it again? I don't know. Um, we'll have to see how the rest of the figures turn out. Um, hopefully, they learn a little bit from their packaging. Don't. Don't uh, don't make the same mistakes again and again. But I mean, they've already got our money, so what do they care? Uh, it's kind of sad to say that, but these these will probably this uh, this set of uh, figures may very well be my last set of uh, Fun Pub figures, simply because I'm kind of sick of dealing with the BS. So, um, but I'll try to show them off. Uh, again, uh, I'm I'm pleased with the way the figure turned out. It's uh, the packaging, it's all the delays, it's that kind of stuff that's really irked me. But um, like I said, big key here though is when you get yours, open it up, check to see if you've got any damage to your figure, and let Fun Pub know. So uh, other than that. Uh, Take care and we'll see you next time.